Hey, River Church, how you guys doing today? My name is Billy, and I'm going to be leading you guys through uh, today's devotional. Um, so today's devotional comes out of Colossians chapter 4. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to give you a little bit of context about the, the Coloss about Colossians. Um, <clears throat> so uh, this book, uh, Colossians, is uh, one of Paul's uh, writings, right? It's one of his letters. Um, we studied at River Church, we studied one of his other letters that he wrote, uh, which was the letter to the Ephesians, the Ephesian church, right? Um, and so so this is called, this is one of his other writings. Um, but basically what happened is Paul, uh, he did not plant this church, right? He got word uh, of this, about this church, and he got word of this error uh, that, that had creeped in or this pressure that had creeped in to their church, right? And so Paul basically, like what Paul usually does is when he receives uh, some word about some uh, incorrect thinking, uh, he usually writes some sort of response, a letter to these churches. And so that's what he did uh, uh, to this church. Um, and so he writes this whole, this letter and, and he's correcting, uh, just like I said, correcting a, 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 an error in their thinking, an error in their their uh, their, their their train of thought. But what what I love about this chapter, what I love about this book, is how Paul finishes uh, finishes the letter, uh, and that's what I want to read to you guys today. It's in Colossians chapter four, verses sixteen, uh, and it reads it reads like this: And when this letter has been read among you. Have it read in the church of the Laodiceans. And see that you also read the letter from Laodicea. Man, that's it. Uh, and so I think that that even though that's just, okay, Paul's saying to read this letter to this other town. And also, you guys make sure that you read the letter that I wrote to that other town. What's the big deal, right? I just think this is this is such a beautiful uh, picture of what what Paul is trying to accomplish, uh, and that's the unity of the believers. Right? Um, it's a beautiful picture of of two two separate churches, you know, working together. Right? Sharing each other's material, um, sharing sharing uh, each other's working together with each other to receive. This message. I just think that that's a beautiful picture. Um, oftentimes, and it's so easy in today's culture, just to to build these walls of division. And this is how uh, I'm going to do things. And as as an individual, as a church, I mean, whatever, as a family, I'm going to do this, and you're going to do it a, another way. And uh, good luck to you. But you know, we're going to win because I want to do it better. Um, and that, that, that train of thought creeps into my mind all the time, right? I'm, I'm a competitive person. I play sports. Uh, you know, I want to win, right? Um, but here we just see this beautiful picture of instead of competition, we have uh, cooperation, right? Instead of divisiveness, we have unity. Uh, and I just think that that's beautiful. And so I want to encourage um, you guys, hopefully, uh, I, I want to encourage myself also, but uh, Hopefully in this, in this devotional, in this reading, we just, we are encouraged to love one another well. We are encouraged to work uh, with others, with other Christians, with, with people from other churches. Maybe, maybe it's just your neighbors, but just to be able to love, be able to, 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 to try and bring unity as opposed to division, right? Uh, in our culture, in our country, especially right now, there's so many reasons for us to want to divide so many reasons for us to want to pull apart so many reasons for us to not want to work together and uh i just pray that that we push against those reasons we push against those temptations for division and i pray that we are able to uh, see how we can come together river church i love you guys and uh, I'll be praying for you, and I miss you, and I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope we get to see you guys soon. Love you.